everybody! I'm the EG! Finally, recording another video since, though, whenever the fuck the last prop hunt was. Today, we're looking at the Pokemon Presents, and I think I did accidentally spoil myself on this, because, obviously, you know, I couldn't watch this, I'm in school, and this happened during school, so I could not actually watch this, but, uh, yeah, I saw at the very bottom, like, the first video on the right is just, uh, how to get, wait, two weeks only, how to get, and then I saw, like, the sweet Coon Legendary from, I think, Scarlet. But without, with that all out of the way, I hope to God I did not get spoiled on a new Pokemon, or Pokemon 1009-1010. I'm actually quite excited for this. I don't, I don't know what's to come. Switch online, maybe. I'm actually gonna change, fix this up just a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna begin. Hello everyone, I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, February 27th, is Pokemon Day. This is the <laughs> date that the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were first released in Japan. I like that Karaito and Raido, like, you know, of the so Pokemon cool. series. And what is that? What is that Pikachu? At the time, only 151 Pokemon had been discovered. But now that number has grown to over 1,000. To all you trainers around the world who have journeyed together with your Pokemon over the years, we are so thankful for your support. Mm -hmm. In today's presentation, we will be bringing you all sorts of news about Pokemon. Uh huh. First, we would like to talk about this year's Pokemon World Championships. Okay. The first ever to be held in Japan. Oh! Mr. Chris Brown, take it away. <laughs> Hello Pokemon trainers, I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International and I'm so glad to join you again to talk about our annual Pokemon World Championships. Mm -hmm. This past year in London, more than 10,000 trainers from all over the world gathered together to celebrate Pokemon and experience epic battles. Thank you to all the trainers who made the London World Championships our largest ever and congratulations again to our newest world champions. Now I'd like to share with you all some details about our next event. Mm -hmm. The 2023 Pokemon World Championship How long is will this? be held in Japan okay. for the very minutes. first time. All right. We look forward to trainers battling in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the Pokemon Training Card game, Pokemon mm -hmm. Go, and Pokemon Unite from August 11th mm. to 13th at the Pacifico Yokohama. For more than a decade, we have created special artwork to honor each location that makes the World Championship experience unique. Today, I am happy to share the key art for Yokohama for the very first time. Oh, okay, what Let's is have it? A look. Oh, it looks so cool. Yokohama, or Yoka, or Yokohama. Is that what he said? Yokohama? The World Championships is so special because of how our community from around the world it's comes so cool. together to play Pokemon. We can't wait to see you there. And for those that can't make it, be sure to catch all the action on our live broadcasts all weekend long. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. We can't wait to see everyone together in Yokohama later this year. Okay. Moving on, please have a look at this video. I want that Pikachu. I want to know what's with the Pikachu. Why is that there? Is that like something I missed? Also, Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic. Oh, this looks cool. What the fuck is this? Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> What is this? What? Does that mean you can one shot Pokemon? Wait, what? Hang on, is this the thing I'm missing? That's 
so cool! Cla Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic! Oh, that's so cool! I want to know more about that. That's so cool! Pokemon Trading Card Game Classic is designed to be a premium Pokemon TCG set that will last That's so a cool. Lifetime. Created by the design firm Nendo, Creatures, and the Pokemon Company as a joint production. That's amazing. Is that, we'll is that the old? The product I think that might be the old, uh, so I hope you will all come what's it called? It the old board. That's so cool. Next, we'd like to announce a new Pokemon venture. Oh. To tell you more, we have Miss Min Young Kim from Netflix. Netflix. Oh, it's the Mr. show. Ishihara, thank you for the kind introduction. Hi, everyone. My name is Min Young Kim, and I oversee Netflix film and series from Asia Pacific. Thank you for having us here today, and I'm thrilled to share how we're bringing Pokemon and Netflix together for the first time this year. At Netflix, we're passionate about developing local programming that entertains audiences around the world. Mm -hmm. So today, we're pleased to announce that Netflix, in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, are producing a brand new Netflix series, The Pokemon Concierge. What? We have a group of experts here in Japan who are passionate about finding and developing original stories from Japan that can excite audiences all over the world. Mm -hmm. And we are dedicated to adapting fan favorite stories and manga into extraordinary shows. Oh, With this that's, title, that's actually kind of cool. We're excited to marry an entirely new storyline that expands the Pokemon universe with groundbreaking stop motion animation. To bring this new world to life, we've partnered with the amazing creative team at Dwarf Studio. The series, which will be set at the Pokemon Resort, follows the story of our concierge Haru and the many Pokemon who visit as guests. We hope you enjoy today's first look at the Netflix series, Pokemon Concierge, and we can't wait to share more with you. That's Hey, hang on, I'd like to point out that Psyduck looks really fucking cool. That looks so cool. I love it. I love this. That's it. Thank you very much, Miss Kim. Pokemon Concierge will be a new animated series brought to you by Netflix. I want to know more about that Pikachu. Please stay tuned for this new series <laughs> release. Now, we'd like to present the latest news about our games. Okay. Pokemon Cafe Mr. Mix. Sonomia, please take it away. I know it's a Scarlet and Violet update. Uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix update possibly. Masters Unite. Obviously Hello. Unite because it's Ashin. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. I need that Lechon. That that's a necessity. That's good a necessity. With your treasure hunt in the Paldea region. Yes. I Today, finished the game and finished the Pokedex in less than a week. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet Here's a fun fact. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were the only mainline Pokemon games I've ever finished a Pokedex in less than a week. Yeah. But first, please take a look at the latest updates about several of our other games. The five strategic team battle game, Pokemon Unite. We've entered our second year of service and surpassed 100 million total downloads. More and more Pokemon have joined the fray, allowing for even more strategies and ways to play. The legendary Pokemon Zacian is now joining Unite Battles. Its Unite move is Sovereign Sword. What? It can cut a broad swath with its Slash Attack. It can also charge oh. its sword with Aos Energy to unleash a stronger attack. Use these huge attacks to over- Oh, so it's Roy's neutral B. And don't miss out on special Hollowware. I like that. I I don't I don't know. Adventure in Zashi's yeah, field cool. event is now underway. Complete missions to receive rewards. You can also obtain Zashian's Unite license, 
so be sure to join in. I might actually do that. I don't play it more, but sure. Foes with your allies and earn rewards. Plus, to celebrate Pokemon Day, we're distributing a gift code for a special item. Okay. And we're hosting an invitation-only league to decide our Asia region champion. Check out how the battles are going on the official Pokemon oh, Unite song. channel. The teams that win their way through each league will come together in a dramatic face-off in Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur on March 18th and 19th. Look forward to Asia's this great song is Unite good. Battles, and we'll keep bringing you more to enjoy in Pokemon yeah. Unite in the future. I figured Zashi was coming. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty cool introduction. But that cafe mix is coming. We know it is. Cafe mix, I thought I knew it. Oh, Fido! Ah, it's Fido food and a Wiglet thing. It's a Wiglet cone or Wiglet. Wiglet ice Wiglet Sunday. What's this? Seems the aroma of our newest dish has brought some customers to the cafe. Here at the cafe in the Pokemon Cafe Remix game, we meet Pokemon from the Paldea region. Sprigatito, Huecoco, and Quaxley. Whip up plenty of servings of the new Paldea dish and bring delight to your Pokemon mm -hmm. visitors. Progress through the event and you'll be able to choose one of these three to join your staff. I know what one I'm picking, you? obviously for Coco. To celebrate Pokemon Day in Pokemon Cafe Remix, we're also giving away a special in-game Great Chef outfit for Greninja. And there's more. You can now deliver to a whole array of five-star chef Pokemon that have appeared in the past. To celebrate this special development, you can enjoy a bonus 11 times express delivery right now without using in-game currency. Oh. Play Pokemon Cafe Remix on Nintendo Switch or your mobile device. And discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. I figured this was coming. I, I saw Sarah B tweet about uh, the Cafe Mix update. Yeah. I saw this last night, I think, before this came out, so... Yeah, it's decent. Yes! I hope you're ready. Here we come! Those with the strongest convictions will win! I'm not gonna let you win! Shine on! Shall we begin? Yes, we Mr. shall. Mr. We shall begin. All right. My wish is for Galar's trainers to work together to become the strongest in all the world. I want to be as strong as Lee. No, I'm going to be even stronger. Okay. Is all well and good, I suppose. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's Marty with a Galarian Moltres. I love this concept. Marty's gonna have a Galarian Moltres. That's that's so cool. I love it. Let me show you the power of Spike. Man. I want to be the one who beats the unbeatable champion. <laughs> Let's get this started. Pokemon Don't be like Plan. <sighs> Moving on, please have a look at this video. Ah, uh, red and blue. Uh huh. Pokemon Sleep, I'm gonna be so happy. Well, not really happy. I'm just happy that it's uh, out finally after what two, three, four, five years in development. There it is. We got it. It's back. Good night.
be happy. That's that's funny. going with this i think last time it was a game about tooth uh, toothbrushing and you have to brush your teeth to catch the pokemon i think that's what this was last time or i'm thinking of a different game that was either scrap or had a, something similar to it they changed i think they changed the complete direction for it no oh, i love that wait hang on i want to see something in the thick Hang on, go back. Let's go frame by frame for a sec. Does Pikachu disappear before? No, it doesn't. Okay, I thought I saw it disappear before the, uh, kept you all or waiting. after the video. But at last, we can bring Pokemon Sleep to you later this year. Yes, finally, it's the here. The idea behind Pokemon Sleep is to be a game that makes you look forward to waking up in the morning. To get a better idea of what you can expect, please check out the next video. Welcome to the world of Pokemon Sleep. Your adventure takes place on a small island. On this island, you'll find great big Snorlax. Ah, uh, of course. Professor Nuroli, who is oh, great, Pokemon new professor. Sleep. Professor Neuroli. It's easy to play on this island. All you have to do is get a good night's sleep. <laughs> if you leave your smartphone by your pillow when you go to bed, your sleep will be measured, recorded, and analyzed. Wait, I can actually, hang on, I think I could actually use this. I can use this as an actual alarm. That's great. Done, it will be categorized into one of three sleep types. Dozing, snoozing, or slumbering. Pokemon that tend to sleep in the same way as you did will gather around Snorlax. As you keep this up, you might even discover some rare in-game sleep styles that most will never see. It seems that each species of Pokemon has several sleep styles. Get lots of sleep and try to find them all. Enjoy going to sleep yeah. and waking up. I love that. I, lo I want this feel. Sleep styles of Pokemon uh, together that's cool. Snorlax. That's, this is really cool. I love this. This is so cool. By using the Pokemon Sleep app regularly, you can have fun while tracking the regularity of your sleep or rest rhythm. Pokemon Sleep will be available for iOS and Android. I love how they uh, they don't care about Zamazenta. They just put Greninja in the back. Bitch. <laughs> devices later this year. Next. Uh, Zamazenta wasn't that bad. The device you just got a glimpse of, the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. What? Oh, bad. Okay. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus accessory. It is a new device that you can use with Pokemon Sleep and Pokemon Go. Ah. It's very simple to use it with Pokemon Sleep. Press the button when you are going to bed. I got a bad tip. And press that button once again when you wake up in the morning. I got a bad Just like that, your sleep data has been measured. There's a Pikachu within your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Pika Pika! It can sing you lullabies, Pika, Pika, Pika grow friendlier the more sleep you get together, Aww. and even unlock new alarm sounds for you. It's like you're cuddled up to catch some Z's with Pikachu. This device also has handy functions for playing Pokemon Go. Uh -huh. Without even pulling out your smartphone, you can automatically spin Pokestops and throw regular Pokeballs at Pokemon. And now you can choose to throw Great Balls and Ultra Balls as well. 
at the press of a button. There are future plans to add new functionality that'll use your sleep data in Pokemon Go too. Oh! Ah! For more. I wonder what they'll do with that. What do you think? I think the it's Pokemon gonna be really cool. Go plus Plus device should be available to purchase in July. And by linking the Pokemon Go Plus Plus to your Pokemon Go game, you'll get access to special research in Pokemon Go that will allow you to encounter a Snorlax wearing a night I love that. That's so cool. Look forward to more news to come about Pokemon Sleep and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus device. This is so cool. And next, we turn to the latest updates about Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, okay, what is it? in the Pokemon series, which were released in November last year. Pokemon Home, come on, give it to me. Yeah, I know. I saw that. It's really cool. They're finally here. This is gonna be so hard. New paradox Pokemon. <gasps> Walking like an iron leaves. That's that's cool. I'm so happy now. In the Paldea region. Water dragon and grass psychic. It seems Walking Wake appears in Pokemon Scarlet, while Iron Leaves can be found in Pokemon Violet. You'll be able to catch them for yourself by claiming victory in a Terror Raid battle event. The event will begin not long after this broadcast, as okay. soon as preparations are complete. We hope you'll team up with family, friends, and other trainers to take on this challenge. Okay. The games will also soon be able to connect to Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. In Pokemon Go, you can receive gifts from friends or by visiting Pokestops around the world. These gifts come with postcards. Mm -hmm. Once it's possible to connect these games, you'll be able to send postcards to your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. And you'll find that the pattern of Vivian that appears <gasps> will change based on the postcard's location data. Ah. On the Pokemon Go side, the players who have sent postcards will find themselves able to catch roaming form Gimme Ghoul in that game. Oh, that's the only way to obtain roaming Gimme Ghoul! 999 Gimme Ghoul coins to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. Oh wait, this is the first part of Pokemon! We're also Pokemon Home support for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet early this year. Ah, Man! You'll be able to bring roaming form Gimme Ghoul that you've caught in Pokemon Go to Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet via Pokemon Home. We hope you look forward to it. And finally, we'd like to share our last video for today with you. What is it? Please have a look at this. What is it? Come on, give it to me. I'm really disappointed. <laughs> Time Echo Bell, that's cool. The fuck is this? What? Is Yoko watch for Pokemon? Oh. What? Oh, Pokemon Stadium 3? Wait, is that what this is? Is it Pokemon Stadium 3? This is Pokemon Stadium 3. That's all I need to know. Star and Violet? The hidden treasure of Area Zero. Oh, it's DLC! What is that? 
What is that? Part one of the teal mask. Is it part two? Oh, I love that. Legendary, the Indigo Disc. That's cool. DLC will be available for purchase for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The title of this DLC is The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero will be released in two parts, with part one, The Teal Mask, coming in fall 2023. That's really Part cool. Two, the Indigo Disc will be distributed in winter 2023. Purchasing the hidden treasure of Area Zero will allow you to enjoy playing both parts of the DLC with the save data you already have in Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet. In Part 1, The Teal Mask, you'll be visiting the land of Kitakami as, a Pokemon. Trip as your adventures expand beyond the Paldea region. And in Part 2, The Indigo Disc, You'll be studying as an exchange student at Blueberry Academy. That's cool. During these adventures, you'll be able to encounter some familiar Pokemon that you oh! are living in Paldea. Metagross, Yama, I think it's Yama Melodic. The legendary Pokemon that newly appear in the hidden treasure of Area Zero are Ogre Pond, with its fearsome mask, and Terrapagos, resplendent in its glittering aura. Please look forward to a new story that will unfold in two parts as you discover the roles that both these Pokemon will play in your adventures. That's so the cool! Treasure Area Zero will be available for purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation ends. As soon as you make your purchase, you'll be able to get the new uniform set and don some new outfits in your Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet game. As an early purchase bonus, We've also prepared a serial code that will allow oh! you to claim a special Hisuian Zor arc for your in-game team. We hope you enjoy these expanded adventures in the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. What did you think? As we move forward, we'll keep trying to find new ways to bring the joy of Pokemon to you all. That's so cool! Thank you for tuning in. No, thank That's incredible. I loved it. That was so cool. I'm really happy about that turtle legendary. I I'm just stoked on how cool that is. And uh, the new Paradox Pokemon. I'll be humming with that later. So yeah, that's I have nothing else.